So is it weird for Jesus that he has the same name as the Christmas baby? And he said unto me, get on down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's see. Where is he? <laughs> there he is. Damn it, Lord, am I going to score or not? <laughs> I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Do I, like, leave money under my pillow or something? Or, I don't know, just like, like, what's the deal here? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Welcome, my son. Looking for answers? Perhaps I can help. So, Your Honor, I mean, I want to know how I can get Jesus to help me out, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> to study the nature of the Christ. I could refer you to any number of papal encyclicals. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> but I would suggest you start with the Cross of the Deus Laudadici, because it is addressed specifically to the laity. Okay, yeah, yeah that sounds good. <laughs> Lay. <laughs> it was written by Pope John Paul II after a special synod of bishops in Rome. The seventh such synod since Vatican II. Uh, Vatican II? Is that like when Iron Man kicked that guy's ass? I didn't get what was going on in that movie, you know? <laughs> I, I don't often get a chance to go to the cinema. Anyway, Crust of Aeneas is a powerful statement redefining the role of the laity, which is nothing less than the transformation of the entire temporal order. <laughs> uh, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> That's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I know what you're going to say. That would make it the boldest papal pronouncement since quia nonumquam. <laughs> but let's take it easy before we all get excommunicated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Something. <laughs> anyway, you're going to want to read this as well. Yeah, yeah, I guess maybe, you know, take a look, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put these here. I'll be safe. That's a cool logo again. Give this a try. So I'm father. I was at one of your other branches and um couldn't really understand what the guy was saying and um I just have some questions about Jesus. Jews actually don't believe in Jesus as the Messiah. Our religion teaches that the Messiah has not yet come. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I see. Um, so, um, so what does Jesus want me to do? Like, how do I get him to use his magic powers? Again, as a Jew, Jesus is not part of my faith. Oh, oh yeah, 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 wow. Um, so how tall was Jesus, you think? Well, that's a good question. But I think it's probably better posed to someone of the Christian faith. But I'd love to answer any questions you have about Judaism. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean, so is it weird for Jesus that he has the same name as the Christmas baby? That's not really a question about Judaism. Oh, right, right. So, Your Honor, um, it's cool if you say no, and don't get mad, but um, is it okay if I ask you a question that's not about Jesus? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, it would have been nice to know that before, you know, but um, anyway, um... Is there a guy inside Iron Man? Okay, Stark Industries was founded in 1939 by Howard Stark, Tony Stark's father. Uh -huh. Quickly grows to be the biggest high-tech arms manufacturer on the planet. <clears throat> when huh? Tony Stark takes over as CEO, he gets kidnapped in Afghanistan. Let me show you where that is on the map. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, Tony's going to have to invent an arc reactor. This sucks. <laughs> 